Lord, he's worthy to Amen. be praised. You know, I may not have very many here tonight, Billy, but the Lord is in the house. Oh, I believe that. And, uh, you know, uh, I ain't going to keep you but just a very few minutes. I don't have a lot to, to say. And I was thinking about it earlier, and I thought, well, you know, Jesus never said a whole lot either, but what he said, he got the point across, you know. Amen. And uh, I've been going through battles, as, as everybody has. You know, you don't need a person, Brother Keith, that they said, oh, I'm going through this and I'm going through that. You know, but the Bible says, Thank you, not strange concerning the fairy trials that are to try you. But tonight I want to get on something that's been dear to my heart, and it's about our children. <coughs> and if you have your Bible, turn to Jeremiah 31, 15. It says, Thus saith the Lord, A voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation and bitter reaping, Rachel, weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for her children because they were not. Yeah. Thus saith the Lord, Refrain thou voice from weeping and thou eyes from tears, for the work, thou work shall be rewarded, saith the Lord, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy. And there is hope in the end, saith the Lord, that thou children shall come again to the own border. And Billy, whenever I was reading this, and I have read it several times, I wrote articles on it and everything, but it caught my eye today, and he said, they shall come again. So Billy, that tells me that at one on. time, yeah. they had walked with the Lord. That they had turned around and went back to the enemy's camp. And you know, I was thinking about my children. And uh, listen, you don't have a battle as bad as when it your children, you know, I mean, that it can get to you really bad. Come on. But I was thinking about my children, and I was thinking how I'd get upset with them because I just want to shake them and say, Yeah, you know better. You was brought up different. You know better than that. And I was thinking about one night I went in Sacramento and I was laying there on the bed, and I just had a, <coughs> they just told me I had cancer. They went in and removed it and all this stuff, and I was oh. laying there. And Brother Keith, I was laying there and I could feel myself rising. Yeah. I heard Bill and my kids in the living room, but I felt myself and I, could, I, I was rising. Now, y'all can believe this or not. Come on. And uh, I see me and I was in a casket. And I looked up and my children weren't there, Brother Keith. And I said, oh, Lord, Lord, don't take me now. I ain't, my kids ain't ready. I got to stay here and pray for my babies. And I remember going outside and getting in a spring and just beginning to weep and waiting for my children. A few nights later, Brother, Brother Billy had a, preached a 13-night revival in Drakesboro, Kentucky. And this particular night, Brother Billy, there was like a fog in that place. Every Amen. people was slain out in the spirit, and I thought, Oh man, it's so safe in here. Yeah. You know, you can just feel that safe. Come on. And I thought, but my children's not here. Yeah. And brother kids up again once again to cry out for my children. Now Billy wasn't around me whenever I was praying for my children. But a few nights later he called me out and prophesied. And he says, Sister Nancy, God said he's gonna bring your children in. Come on. And you know I mean, well, I've been one I've been one of the worst battles I've had with my children right now. But brother Billy, you preached Sunday morning. Come on. He said, Lord, nevertheless at thou word. Oh, you know, even hallelujah. though it's a situation, you know, you look around and they don't even want to it's bad. It's yeah. bad. But nevertheless, Brother Billy, at thou word. Yeah. Nevertheless, at thou word. I remember when we got the phone call about our sister Rini. And I remember, you know, and, and she uh, hadn't been living right. But I remember when I, we got that phone call, it didn't come into my mind that she might not be right. Because I could remember my mom praying. I come remember on. my mom coming up into a bell and praying to get prayer for her daughter. Oh, and you know, it might have been in her last breath. Brother Billy, but I believe when he went out of his sight because your mama's prayers was not in vain. And anyway, I was uh, thinking about David. And David said, uh, Well, one day I was standing by the closet and I said, Oh, I wish I had wings that fly away. Battle after battle after battle. I said, I just want to fly away. David said, oh, if I had wings like a dove, I'd fly away and I'd escape. Amen. Well, you know, Brother Billy, the Lord didn't give him the wings that he wanted to fly away. Come but on. this he did give him. Let me find it. Come on. That's good. For he had delivered thou so in peace from the battle. Come on. That was against me, for there was many with me. He didn't give him the wings to fly away and escape his battle, but he gave him the peace in the middle of the battle. Oh, you know, yeah. sometimes he has to calm the storm that's going on around him. Sometimes he's got to calm me. Amen. And this thing that's been going on for a month now, you know, the Lord began to show me Sunday morning. He said, the enemy could not have come against me like this, though he allowed it. Oh. You know, 
And when the Jesus says, that's enough, that's going to have to be enough, he's going to have to back off, Billy. Oh, he's going to have yeah. to back off because yeah, when yeah, Jesus yeah. says, peace be still, it's going to be still, yeah. and it's going to be yeah. calm. Yeah. And you know, there is going to be so much more joy and, and stuff like this, you know, because if we stay in we home, if we don't go down to the level and oh. tell them off or tell them what we want to, but he said, Nancy, hold your peace. Come on. Oh, man, that's hard, Billy. Yeah. That's why I don't need you to hold peace. Oh. But he told me, I said, Bill, what am I going to do? Bill, I said, my heart's been closed. Just tore out. He said, you're going to stand. He said, you're going to stand, but you don't know what to do. Oh. You're going to stand. Right. You're going to see the salvation of the Lord. And that's about all I got tonight. But you know, whatever battle is raging in your lives, just stand until you see the salvation of the Lord. Oh. And like when they was out on that in the ship and that rage was beating against it, oh. Jesus said, peace be still. And yeah. it was still. Amen. I know that wasn't good much, but that's all I have, and I praise, praise it. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you.